Welcome to Statics. Equilibrium of a rigid body. Much of what we have done recently has been preparation for this topic. We have previously looked at equilibrium of particles. Now we will expand that topic to rigid bodies. A rigid body is a body that does not deform under a load. They don't really exist. However, in engineering, we primarily work with bodies that don't deform very much, so we can analyze them as being rigid. Let's do a brief review. An object at rest is said to be in a state of static equilibrium. For a particle to be in static equilibrium, all forces acting on the particle must be balanced. In other words, the sum of the forces in all directions must be equal to zero. For a rigid body to be in a state of static equilibrium, all forces and moments acting on the body must be balanced. Consider this crane lifting a loaded shipping container. We will assume the crane behaves as a rigid body. If the crane is not in motion, then it is in a state of static equilibrium. Thus, the forces acting on the crane from the load, the crane boom and body self-weight, and the reactions at the supports must be balanced. Note also that the heavy load being lifted tends to cause a rotation of the crane body. If the load is heavy enough, the crane will tip over. For the crane to remain stable and static, the moments acting on it must then also be balanced. So, for equilibrium of a rigid body, the forces acting on the body must be balanced, or the sum of the forces must equal zero. Balanced forces prevent translation or linear motion of the body. Also, the moments acting on the body must be balanced, or the sum of the moments must equal zero. Balanced moments prevent rotation of the body. We will be analyzing forces acting on rigid bodies by writing equations of static equilibrium and solving for unknown force or moment components. We will be using both scalar and vector analysis methods. Let's go back to the crane example. Even though the crane is a three-dimensional body, given the general symmetry, we can analyze it as a coplanar system. I construct a free body diagram of the crane body and show all the applied loads. Note that the reaction forces are doubled since there are outriggers on both sides of the crane. The self-weight of the boom is shown acting through the centroid of the boom. The self-weight of the crane body is shown acting through its centroid. Because we will be summing moments, the locations of the loads must also be known, so the required dimensioning is added to the diagram. If I know the loads acting on the crane, then summing the forces in the y direction returns zero. The loads are balanced. If I were to increase or decrease the magnitude of the force exerted by the load on the end of the hook, then the reaction forces RA and RB would change to balance the forces. However, not only must the forces be balanced, but the moments must also be balanced. Note that if I sum the moments about point A, the RA reactions are not included since their moment arms are zero. The sum of the remaining moments equals zero. If I sum moments instead about point B, the RB reactions are not included since their moment arms are zero. The sum of the remaining moments also equals zero. This will be true no matter what point I choose to sum moments about. Summing moments about point C, all the forces show up in my moment equation, and they all sum to zero. This is what I mean by all moments must sum to zero. It does not matter what point I sum moments about.